These are all uh, cave bear bones. On um, some of the vertebrae, there's, they've got a rough surface. Qualicum Beach Museum has many spectacular fossils, and they each have their own story. Geologist Graham Beard explains how fossils found here tell a lot about the history of our island. It tells us about past uh, paleo uh, climates, for example. It tells us about uh, what the ecosystem was like here, uh, in this case 65 billion years ago. One of the largest fossil finds on Vancouver Island was discovered by hikers Elka and Enzo this past summer in the Mount Benson area. When water levels were so low due to our extremely dry summer, it was finally revealed. This extremely large mold of an ammonite. And once I got to the site, I could see that the fossil was actually gone. It had been washed away by the creek years and years ago, but it still was an amazing mold of the specimen. Next, they had to determine what to do with this spectacular find. And we wanted to have, obviously, it preserved somehow. Taking it out of the rock would have been impossible because it would, you know, involve um, rock saws and a Sikorsky helicopter. <laughs> it would be so heavy to do. Uh, so anyway, we were able to make a cast of the fossil. The cast of the fossil will be used to create a replica for display at the Museum of the Giant Ammonite. An ammonite is uh, a shelled cephalopod, a shelled octopus-like critter. The ammonites uh, started out at the, t the time of the dinosaurs about 250 million years ago and then they became extinct about 65 million years ago. And the uh, ammonite that we found on Mount Benson is about 65 million years old. This is the main uh, living chamber of this shell that has been preserved. Uh, the central part here, which would contain what's called the fragma cone, unfortunately is missing. Ammonite fossils that are commonly found in the Mount Benson area tell us a bit about the island's history. Graham says it's important that Elka and Enzo reported this find. Amateurs can make a really important uh, contribution to science. When they find something like this, if they take it to their local museum or contact uh, a, a geologist if they know one, to get things like this preserved for science. Unfortunately, uh, some people, when they see fossils, they think of dollar signs. and It's actually now illegal to sell a fossil in British Columbia. It's also illegal to take them out of the province without a permit. But um, we'd, I don't want to discourage people from collecting fossils uh, if they find them on the surface. Uh, but it's important to, to realize that you're just holding these uh, fossils in trust. They actually still belong to the province. And uh, also uh, it's more important that these things are objects of science so it's, it's and really should be studied rather than uh, be used as a doorstop or put in somebody's yes. uh, garage. This is uh, one of the largest ones I've seen from central Vancouver Island. Ammonites have become quite popular in Alberta for reasons other than historical research. In Alberta, they find an ammonite called Placentisurus. They actually mine ammonites to get this uh, aragonite material and they make jewelry out of it and it's become a multi-million dollar industry. This is a little ammonite from Mount Benson and you can actually see it has some of these beautiful nacreous colors. I love ammonites just for this here uh, symmetry and the beautiful structure that's revealed. Qualicum Beach Museum offers an up-close and personal look at a variety of ammonite fossils found in the Mid-Island area. In Qualicum, I'm Kelly Robinson.